Here's an entrepreneurial tip. If you want to improve your life and your business, you have to improve your habits. You see, your bank balance is a direct result of your money spending habits or investing habits. Right? Your fitness level is a direct result of your exercise habits. Your weight is a direct result of your eating habits. And your relationship status is a direct result of the habits you have around your friends and people. You see, we think it's the bank balance that needs to change. But actually, it's the habit of how you handle your money that needs to change. Right? How you work with your money on a daily basis. You see, we think it's the number on the scale that has to change. But actually, it's your eating habits that has to change. And the way you wake up and go to sleep every night and how much you exercise. You see, those are the things that need to change that will eventually result in the end result that we want. So we need to change our habits first. And in order to change our habits, we need to start thinking differently about who we are. You see, your habits create your identity and your identity is created by your habits. If you go running every day, right? And that's a habit that you have. Every morning you wake up and you go running. Eventually, you look at yourself as a runner. And then that becomes your identity, which also then reinforces your habits because a runner doesn't wake up and does not go and run. A runner wakes up and goes running. So then you start enforcing that habit because that is just who you are. And the same with business and entrepreneurship. The goal shouldn't be to make money. The goal should be to become a money maker. Because as soon as you become a money maker, then it's part of your identity to naturally make money. And then you form habits of making money every day because you are a money maker. You see, the goal is not to read a hundred books. The goal should be to become a reader. Because then every day that's just what you naturally do. It becomes your habit to read because you are a reader. And sometimes when you feel like, hey, but I'm not a runner. You just need to enforce the habit for a while and start running every day and eventually you will become a runner. And once you're a runner, you will run every day naturally. So if you think, hey, I don't know how to make money, just start by making a little bit of money every day. And then soon you'll become a money maker. And then after that, you won't help it but to make money <laughs> everywhere you go and everything you do. So start small, start with that habit. And once you have the habit, it will become your identity. And once you get that right, it will be impossible for you not to make money. It will be impossible for you not to read or impossible for you not to run because that's just who you are. So I have a challenge for you. Do you think you can make 50 rand today that you didn't have yesterday? Right? Yes? Okay, that's too easy. Do you think you can make a hundred rand today that you didn't have yesterday? Right? Challenge accepted? Great. So instead of thinking of making a million rand or becoming a millionaire, why not focus on making a hundred rand today and then tomorrow and then the day after that? And you make it a habit to earn money on a daily basis, even if it's just a hundred rand. And eventually you become a money maker and that becomes your identity and then you will not be able to not make money you will always make money every day because it's just who you are so all of us think it's the result that needs to change but actually it's the habit that precedes the result that needs to change so take this challenge Take 30 minutes or an hour today and think about the habits that you want to change, that will precede the result that you would like to have, that will create the identity that you would like to have. Start small and start today.